morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mm, that smells good. Mm. The bigger the hoops, the bigger the hoa. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. You know what song I've had in my head all morning? They try to make me go to rehab, but I said no, no, no. I must have bit my cheek or something. Good morning, everybody. Cold. Hoop, there it is. Hoop, there it is. Hello from Germany. Hello to Germany. Hello, New Mexico. So nice to talk to you. Good morning, good morning. I'm late this morning because I had to take it, the kids to school. Delaware. I like Delaware. I used to go to the Delaware Water Gap when I was in high school. They try to make me go to rehab, but I said no, no, no. Guys, I really can't. They have tried to make me drink the decaf, but I said no, no, no. Anyway, I'm so um, glad to hear, oh, you like my coaster? It got a stamp on it, but it's my face, basically. It's pretty self-absorbed, Jamie, that you have a coaster with your face on it. Get a life, Jamie. Get a life. Um... So I slept funky and my neck hurts. Like I feel like every other day, my neck hurts. My meeting at um, the Center for Missing and Exploited Children yesterday went amazing. Where's your ring? What ring? That ring? What ring you looking for? Hmm? Everybody always up in your business. Where's your ring? We broke up. That's where my ring is. We broke up. Um, my Billy Ocean poster was thrown away, Mary. After everything we went through, they accidentally threw it away. Because they thought it was another breaking in poster. And the breaking in one is on my wall. My office looks so much better. We totally cleaned it out. It looks so good. I, I need to declutter because I'm apparently a hoarder. But whatevs. Hi, Drew. I love you. Um, anyway, so oh, my neck is killing me. Um, I found one Coffee Talk travel mug. They found it when they were cleaning out my office. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Um, anyway, the, the meeting was so good so good yesterday and by the way i like was fighting tears the whole time you can't oh my god jamie gandy goes there's le a legit subset of people here waiting on the edge of their seats for jamie to say she's getting divorced i feel like there are like there there are like a bunch of women and there's a bunch of people waiting to for for um i love you lee that's not true i love you please tell me what the starbucks cup says it says merry coffee um whatever if michael and i get divorced you guys will be the first to know and the first to judge and the first to talk shit and the first to <laughs> but why um Anyway, back to the meeting. The meeting was amazing. Lily, if you're watching, I absolutely adored your husband. It is always 
amazing to go to a meeting and after the meeting is over the person says my husband or my wife usually my wife is a big fan of coffee talk because that's just amazing it's just amazing um I have to tell you, like, it is amazing to me how how efficient the Center for Missing and Exploited Children has become um, in finding, not only finding children, but when they find a body, um, how they identify that body. Can you believe that there are, just just listen to this and then I'm gonna get on to the topic of coffee talk because I don't wanna depress you with missing children and dead children, but can you believe that there are 200 about, give or take, unidentified children's bodies in this country? Meaning the authorities have found a body, bones, whatever, And have no idea who that child belongs to. Either because the child was never reported missing or they can't identify it. The bones are too old and they have no DNA. So they don't know who. So like there could be a mother out there right now whose child has been missing for 30 years. And they have the body. They have the bones. But they can't link it with the mother. Ah! Very upsetting. Very upsetting. The whole thing, but amazing what they're doing there. Amazing. And I was just in awe to even walk into that building and see the picture of Adam Walsh with the baseball bat. Remember Adam Walsh who was taken from the Florida shopping mall? Jeez. Uh, Anyway, they're doing amazing work there. And it was amazing that I even got to go there. So there's that. All right. Anyway, let's move on to something a little happier. All right. We're going to talk about closure. A little bit of closure. You pull this door closed. You pull that door closed. You pull the closure. Um, So closure is something we convince ourselves we need to move on. All of us, not just me, not just you, but her, 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 and him and him. Right. Closure is something that we we literally have convinced ourselves like i can't move on without closure um well the truth is you can the truth is most of us have and the truth is closure is a narrative we tell ourselves it, 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 it's it's not real okay in in some situations in in other situations it is real for mothers looking for their children, closure is real. For women who can't get over a fuckboy, it's not as real as you think it is. So let's talk about that. Closure a lot of times, like for example, a couple of years ago had a girl, classic narcissist, thought she was my friend. Holy moly, she fit the mold of the narcissist to a T, but I didn't see it. Even though I was doing coffee talk every day, I didn't see it. She was perfect. The kind of narcissist that builds you up right? The inflation narcissist builds you up and makes you sort of grandioso and larger than life and bigger than you are. This way they can use the size they create as your downfall. You're too big. You're too much. You're too popular. You're too loud. We can't have this. Bitch, you're the one that's been talking about me for the last year. You're the one that's been inflating me. You're the one that's been singing my praises. So how the hell are you going to come sit in my house and tell me I'm too much? I'm too loud. I curse too much, whatever it is. Shut up before I beat you up. Get out of my house. Now, if you use that, right? Um, Yeah, the love bombing. If you use that situation, right? Um, At first, I was like, I need closure. I need to, I, it's love bombing. I, I need closure. I need to understand why she did this to me. I need to understand why... Y'all, closure is a myth in that situation. Closure is a narrative that we tell ourselves believing we need it to heal or we need it to move on. It's simply not true. Sometimes you have to give yourself closure. Okay, you need closure, Jamie. You better sit down and figure it out. You better make up your own closure. 
You better write that script. You better create that narrative. You better talk yourself off a ledge, right? Because if you're waiting to get closure from the person who hurt you, what in the what? That's like somebody hitting you with a baseball bat and you laying on the ground begging them to get you ice. No, you better crawl to the refrigerator and get your own ice. We have got to start getting better at giving ourselves closure for the way that things end. Stop looking for closure in people who are not, who A, don't really give a shit to give it to you, B, are not emotionally mature enough to give it to you, or C, don't even see their role in what went wrong. So you're all, I need closure from a fuckboy who's like, I don't understand why you would need closure. I'm a fuckboy. You knew I was a fuckboy when we got together. And you're like, oh, shit, this is true. Better sit down and write myself some closure. Dear self, this is ending because you knew it never should have begun. In Jesus' name, amen. What is a love bomb? A love bomb is when typically a narcissist or somebody comes into your life and just drop down and get your eagle on, girl. Just kidding. And just drop down and get your eagle on. Okay. Love bombing is when they come into your life and they just inflate you, blow you up. They just pour into you. You're the best. You're the smartest. You're amazing. I can't live without you. Blah, 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 blah. Love bomb. It's not real. It's not real. Some of those things might be true, but their intention is not real. Just letting you know. And you've got to be able to heal and move on from any situation providing yourself closure. If you get closure from someone else and it helps, great. But typically, you've got to find your own closure. You've got to make your own closure. You've got to, yeah, share this. Absolutely, Kelly. I want you to share this video. Um, if you feel you need closure, you need to create your own. You really do. Because you're not going to get it from the people that hurt you. They can't even really provide it. And I don't know if you remember, but this girl called me like two years later to apologize. And I actually took her call and actually let her apologize and was like, okay, I forgive you. Okay. Or as they used to say, all right, bet. Right? Because I had already, I already knew what it was. I already made my own closure. I already created my own narrative. So her apology was fine or not fine. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. She wanted to give it to me because she wanted to like, I don't know. I guess she was trying to clean out her karma webs. Whatever. But my point about that is, is I had created my own closure in the situation. And because of that, I didn't need anything from her. I wasn't emotionally tethered to her. Stop keeping yourself emotionally tethered to something that does not serve you. Stop. You are, you are literally emotionally tethered, tied to a situation, to a person who does not care about you because you are waiting for a closure. It's not fucking coming. So write your own closure. Karma webs. You like that? All right. I love you guys. I love you. Look at all this fucking healing going on. I love it. I love it. I love it. Should I see by the look in my eyes, baby? Um... All right, I love you guys very much. I have to get ready for work because I'm here and I haven't been in the office in two days and I have a ton of shit to do. But I love you. It's Wednesday. We're halfway there. Whoa, we're halfway there. Ah, living. You know the words. Um, all right, I love you. Have a great 
great day.